The Single Obstacle Challenges The Trailer Muddy Horse Coaching First we're going to target the trailer. You can target any part of the trailer. The back, the sides, the front, the vehicle towing it. Then we're going to walk around it with the horse on the outside. So I'm closest to the trailer. And I'm just asking her to play the shadow game with me walking around the outside of the trailer. And then we may as well jog around it. The horse is still on the outside. And we need to do that in both directions. So we walk in both directions and we jog in both directions. The horse still on the outside. And we're going to walk around it, but now the handler's on the outside. So the horse is next to the trailer. So it's a bit more of a squeeze situation for the horse. And you can make it as tight a squeeze as you like. You'd start out quite wide, and then as the horse got confident, you could squeeze in more closely. So he's walking very close to the trailer. And the kin, you can jog around it with the handler on the outside. Number six, move between me and the back of the trailer, and then ask the horse to turn and face, and go between the trailer and the handler in the other direction. You can make that a wide space and then gradually you can make it a narrower and narrower space. Seven, move between me and the side of the trailer. So it's a bit of a longer squeeze situation and you can see I've got quite a wide space there and I can make it narrower as we get confident. Part B touch the horse's side to the trailer and here I had to actually use the neck rope to just give her a bit of confidence. It's been over a year since we've done this but then she remembers oh yeah we're just going to touch our side to the trailer and that was really really nice. And she just wasn't sure what I wanted at the beginning. Number two side pass away from me around the trailer and again I needed to just steady her there with the neck rope <coughs> and ask her to just keep moving sideways facing the trailer. You can also do this with the horse's butt to the trailer which is slightly more complex. And just for fun we're going to side pass toward, toward me alongside the trailer. <coughs> The trailer is just a focal point. And then we're going to back up alongside the trailer. The trailer is a focal point for all sorts of moves that we do in other places as well. There's nothing magical about the trailer other than that it's our point of focus. And then a recall alongside the trailer. Finally we're going to open the back of the ramp. The trailer is still closed. We're going to step on the ramp from the side and then we're going to back off the ramp. If you have a ramp that's safe to do this, it's a lot of fun. Some of them have projections on the side, so it's not that safe unless you cover the projection with something. And we had all four feet on the ramp, sort of like a pedestal. And then ask her to turn around and come back and put all four feet on the ramp, or in this case just the front feet on the ramp. When we first taught this she had a lot of trouble going this direction. She was fine the other way but this direction out of her out of her right eye she had a lot more trouble. But she seems to have remembered this quite nicely. Now I'm going to ask her to put just her front feet off. We haven't ever done this before that I remember and you can see she's not happy. She's hesitating. She's trying but she doesn't really understand how she's going to be able to do that. So I gave up and I said, okay, well, let's just walk off the trailer. I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable up there. And she walked off and turned to face really nicely, so that earned her a click and a treat. <coughs> Part C. Number one, we're going to walk right across the ramp. So it's just like we did before when the ramp was up, but this time she needs to walk across the ramp. 
And she says, shall I stop here? And I says, no, no. You don't. So she walked on off the ramp. And that was really nice. So we're just using the ramp where before we used the space. Then I want her to load up into the trailer and finally open it up and just park there. So I've gone around the front, given her a click and a treat. <clears throat> and I want her to stay in there a good 10 seconds. So I know my horse is comfortable to be shut in one second, stand in there for a minute without needing to come out. And then I have asked her to back out. So I've asked her to do a back up from inside the trailer. She was good. She came right off the ramp. It's been a year since we played all this stuff, so I'm very pleased with how she's remembering it all. Now I'm going to ask her to load up and close the butt bar. And before I close the butt bar, I wait a good 10 seconds to make sure she doesn't feel the need to come rushing back out again. And I just quietly reach over and close the butt bar. That was very nice. She's fine with that. Give her a rub on the bum. So confidence and relaxation is what we're striving for all the time. Relaxation and confidence. Confidence, relaxation. I'm going to use my hand signal. I've got my hand up and I can't really see, but I'm using a hand signal with my left hand to ask her to back out. She learnt that on the ground without a trailer first. And we're just having a little pause here. I said, well, let's load up. And this time we're going to exit with a tail cue. So just a very gentle, just really pick it up. Make sure I stand to the side in case something startles her and she rushes out. And that was really nice coming out on the tail cue. Clicking a trait for that. Finally, we're going to back into the trailer. And uh, again, it's been a year since we've played with this, so I was really pleased that she remembered it so well. Back feet on the ramp, all four feet on the ramp. And these are the little slices that we used when I first taught it to her. And then the back feet actually in the trailer. And we would have, yes, we did click and treat there. That's another little step in the procedure. And then asking her to back up all the way in. She's not quite all the way in. And she's just having a good old sniff, so we pause, relax. None of this has to have any trauma or dust with it. And backed up another couple of steps, and that was good enough for a click and a treat. And then I noticed she had a little bit more space to back up there. So I just asked her for another step or two back. She says, I don't know. Can I do that? And I said, yes, you can. And she said, okay. One step back with her one, with her right front foot. Have to sniff the butt bar. And the other step back. That was really nice. Click in the trait for that. That's probably as far as she could go. <coughs> and ask her to come out again. Recall. And she says, How about clicking a treat here? And I says, Well, okay, if you insist. And then come the rest of the way off the ramp. We're going to back up, load, standing on the ramp first. And I've given her a little bit of guidance and confidence with the neck rope because this is something we haven't done for a very long time. Not since I actually taught it to her initially. And she says, can I do this? I says, yes, you can. And I click in a trait for each small increment toward the final product. That's the magic of clicker trading that you can actually tell the horse they're right with each tiny increment. Successive approximations is the correct term if you're doing animal 
behavior study. And she backed herself in there really, really So she got a click in the trait for that. And she's pretty relaxed in there. Doesn't feel the need to rush out. So I'm inviting her to walk out with me. Click in a trait for that.